Good morning. I want to show you something that I don't usually show during my forest walks. Um, and it's called wild leek. I, I don't show it just because it grows very fast and then it's hard to identify it uh, because uh, the other plants come out of the grass, uh, come out of the ground and um, some of them look absolutely identical like the wild leek. Okay. Um, so here it is. Let me... Can you see it? So, and it's perfect example. So I'm gonna pick wild leek and I'm gonna pick the leaf of trout lily. So um, you're gonna see the difference right away and you're gonna be able to identify it. You see, this is the leaf of trout lily here. You can see the spots on it very easily now. And beside it, there is a leaf of the wild leek. It has no spots right now. But see, later on, what's happening, the spots from the trout lily, they disappear, and it becomes really hard to identify. Uh, so what is it good for? Uh, first of all, it's, um, it's a powerhouse of vitamin C. It has antibacterial properties. If you eat it just a few bites, can kill. Oh, I'm not eating the right thing. Sorry. Um, just a few bites of wild leek, they kill um, the bad flora inside of your mouth. All of the bad bacteria. I have no idea how does it choose. Seriously. Um, but also, um, any respiratory issues uh, from the viruses kills it. Perfect. So eat it. But don't go crazy about it. Um, it's a bit harsh for the stomach. So if you have stomach issues, be very careful. It does fix them, but you have to understand the dosage. The dosage has to be minimal, little by little. So less is more in here. Um, also, atherosclerosis problems. Um, the growth of the fatty kind of tissues of the fat inside of the blood vessels, yes, it does fix it. Also, um, and the hypertension connected to it, yes, it does fix it because it takes the growth away. Um, for women, it's good um, for thyroid problems. Uh, it fixes them. So if anybody has problems with the thyroid, I would suggest you to pick the wild leek now and um, either ferment it or dry it. These are the best ways to, to keep it, to preserve it. I try to freeze it. Um, didn't work well. I didn't like the taste. It became too sweet. It's, it still has its properties, but um, drying is the best. Uh, where, where does it grow? Uh, it grows in the woody area in the, as you, I hope you can see it. Um, it's the beginning of, it's, it's the bottom of the sunny south hill. And uh, Later on, as I said, it, it becomes very difficult to find out the difference between the wild leek and the uh, trout lily. It is also called bear leek, and the Greeks believe that men receive the power of the bear from wild leek. It is also called wild garlic. In Russian, it's called kalba or cherimsha, and it is, it, it was, when USSR existed, it was in USSR's uh, red book, meaning that it had to be preserved due to its amazing properties. Um, uh, so when you are picking it, please, when you see the whole bush, pick just a few leaves. Keep it for next generations. Keep it for the next years. Be very gentle to it. Um, so what else does it help with? If you have moles uh, on your face, unwanted moles, or some kind of dangerous moles, chew the wild leek and rub it in. Uh, what else is it good for? Oh, re re rheumatoid issues. Um, what you're gonna do, you're gonna <laughs> buy vodka, of course, that's, uh, that's what Russians do, right? And uh, mix it with vodka and wait it for 10-14 days and you can rub it into the rheumatoid um, places that have re rheumatoid pain. Usually it's the lower back, <laughs> but hey, don't forget to exercise, please, because it could be the issue as well connected to it. Um, well, this is it. If I remember anything, I'm gonna write in the comments. Uh, thank you. I'm gonna show you something else next time. Bye. Have
awesome day.